Concordia's Wind Symphony went on tour in Florida over spring break and entertained the River Forest community with a home concert when they returned. Clarinetist Lizzie Eschbach and conductor Dr. Fisher told us about the tour and their favorite part of this year's group. Flew to Florida um, and basically toured all around there, um, just back and forth, kind of through Orlando, Tampa, just a lot of different places. It was 10 days long. Um, and we played a concert, at least one, almost every day. So it was really long and exhausting, but it was like so much fun. So we like toured around in buses and um, met a lot of people, stayed in a lot of um, homes from like the churches. The most rewarding part about Wind Symphony is um, probably the relationships you get out of it. They are fantastic people. Their faiths, their personalities, their musicianship, their ability to work together and be dedicated and, and committed to learning the music outside of rehearsal, their individual parts, as well as getting together with their, with their sections. But they're adorable. They're really, they're cute. I even, and I don't mean that they're like they're little baby cute, but they're really cute people and their little personalities bring joy to my life and, and make me very happy. I love about home concerts um, is first of all your home like this is like our turf and you don't have to like impress anyone everyone's there for you and to support you and so many families come and parents and friends and um, so that makes it just even more special because um, you're not playing to strangers you're playing to people who really really want to see there see you and be there for you. I believe that audiences may not remember pieces they may not remember who the conductor was and who the group was, but they will always remember when they leave, they'll remember how they felt. And that's the most important thing. If you feel like you want to know more about CUC's Wind Symphony, check out Spring Music Fest later this month. Also be on the lookout for their latest CD, Banners of Concordia, which will be available sometime next fall. This has been Emily Longman and Nicole Garza, reporting for WCGR News.